I'm just perfect the way I am. Live, laugh, and love. Fuck off. The reason that I wanted to do this is because there's just been a whole lot of ickiness in the girl world recently. We're doing this on my channel because, yeah, I want the watch hours. Before I answer that question, can I just, can I just say a couple of things and ask a couple of questions? Yes, please do. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to be focused and yeah. it's very hard. Yeah. I, so I was listening and I was just going to sort of just going to sit and watch the chat, but I kind of feel like this whole interview thing is sort of maybe moving in the wrong direction because you're a little bit nervous and afraid to confront Monty head on because you do like him. And I like Monty as well. I didn't get the creepy vibe. But there are some hard questions we need to be asking and I don't think we should be afraid in this forum because it is our opportunity while we've got him here to ask those hard questions. And if you permit me, and I do this with all the respect that I can muster for you, Monty, if you would allow me just a minute to ask you some questions and I really want you to be honest, okay? Well, it's Veronica's channel. So. Veronica, do you give me the opportunity to please ask Monty some questions? Yeah. Okay, um, and I will be I will be respectful and I'll be kind and I will I, be. No, I just yeah. I just wanted to say that I didn't want you guys to feel like I wasn't going to ask anything. I just mm. wanted to kind of put things in order. Mm. But it's all good. If you want to go ahead and yeah. ask, yeah, go ahead. Okay. So out of the situation that's come up so far, I just want to know what what part, if any, do you feel you need to take responsibility for? I would say um, not being there at the moment in need, but then it's in hindsight, do I know that she really needed me there? Because mm -hmm. I was asking the questions I would always ask, which are, you know, how, what, where, why, who, when. Okay. Usually if she calls me and then she would answer, but this time it just, it just didn't, she didn't answer until okay. I, I, um, I understood more that somebody was there and tried to rape her. Then at that point, I was like, oh, crap. I totally didn't know this when she called me in the morning because she never told me like that. It was just a missed call. I texted like, hey, you know, what's going on? And I wasn't answered. So how am I supposed to know? I can't read minds. No. Okay. So that's the answer to that question. So the other question that I have is, when she asked you if there was anything she could do for you while you were grieving her mother, your response was to ask for nudes and a video. Can you answer that question, please? Oh, um, what she hasn't told you is that she has been offering if I um, she would offer whole F to me. So there, there's a Wait, lot to this. Do you have those screenshots or evidence of that? Um, I'll have to look through and um see mm -hmm. if i do have those okay um i do you have any regrets regarding any of this is there anything that you would like to go back and do differently just be more careful less trust enough people so you so instead of so what i take from that and please just tell me if i'm wrong is that instead of changing how you would treat her you would just like to keep it more private that's how i take that Maybe people aren't understanding that I treated Buddha extremely well. I was there for her. She would call me every day and every day I would answer and talk to her about anything from family, productivity, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So what, what do you think her motivation is for doing this then if she felt like she was being treated very well from you? Well, my understanding is that she felt... She maybe put me on a pedestal. Did she say that or is that how you feel? No, I, I feel at this moment that's what was happening. But the thing about that is I'm only human and sooner or later I'm going to make a mistake. And if I make a mistake, then that's when she's going to drag me. So what I feel is that sooner or later, what was done was inevitable. So basically... 
any relationship or the, so this was the, going to be the end outcome because of the type of person that Buddha is. Is that what you're saying? I would say I can't predict the future, but it's highly likely that this outcome was always going to happen. So why would you get involved with her in the first place if this was I what the outcome? I wasn't ever involved with her. As she mm. says, we were friends. But you said you were flirting. I said it was flirty and she would flirt and I would um, flirt back, but we always kept it at a mature level. Mm. Okay, so that, that, that sounds like you're trying to narrate this to sound right. It might seem like that, but that's mm. how it was. But if you're trying to be zero contact, the best way to make that happen is to say, I, I don't want to talk to you no more. I think right? that would be the mature thing to say because I don't like ghosting. But uh, to be fair, yeah. if you have 20 yeah. avenues of contact and 19 of those have been shut off to you, would that not send a very strong message that they don't want to talk to you? It would if they actually did have 20 avenues no, all right. of contact. Four. Four types of contact, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, or email. And email's the only way. She doesn't. She didn't clearly want to talk to you, so why would you hunt around for an email? That's I don't understand. Like she didn't want to talk to you because she's blocked you everywhere. What does that tell you? What do you mean by hunt, hunt her by email? Did you did you have her? Were you contacting her by email regularly before? No, this? I contacted by email only once, and to say that hey, I didn't understand the situation. Here's my apology. I'm sorry. I didn't so that understand that you were almost great because I didn't see the tape. I didn't understand what was happening or why that's, she... That, that's not what we're talking about here. What we're talking about now is that she didn't want to talk to you and she had blocked you and you used the last avenue of contact to contact her when it was clear she did not want to speak to you because you wanted to apologise. It yeah. wasn't clear. How was it not clear? How does that not send a clear message? Because she's coming in the chat. In the chat room. Had she come into your chat in that time when she had blocked you everywhere else? I do believe so that she did, as well as um, other chats I've been in, yeah. Oh, I do have one other question for you, and I think it's one question that the chat does want to hear, have an answer to, is why did you strike Troll Detective? Because the content wasn't, um, it wasn't fair use, that's why. But is but it's the same way that you use Chantal's content content in the same it's way. Not, it's the same. It's not the same. It is the same. It's not the same. And how is it different? Because how is it different? Okay, let me finish. Okay. Because every time I'm speaking, you're you're chiming okay. in. So you let okay. me finish. I will. If I feel it's not fair use, at the end of the day, it's gonna be up to a judge. So if I feel that what a virtual detective is using is not fair use. I will challenge it with a copyright strike. The troll detective has the chance to counter. Then I will take troll detective to court and have a judge determine whether or not it's fair use. But my question is, how is it different to the way that you use Chantal's content? Because it is the same. It's not the same. But because explain to me how it's different then. Troll Detective used my entire voice all the way, all the way through for about for more than fifty percent of that video, maybe sixty percent, with just really negative imagery on top. That is not fair use. But negative imagery is not part of copyright. It does the context does not matter. They my use voice, filters. my my voice mm. is my own, so yeah. it is my property. Okay. But it was filtered, it was transformative, and that is the basis of but, it not being copyrighted, and he but transformed no, that. That's the basis of the argument that you feel it's transformative while I'm feeling it's not. So at the end of the day, like I said, it's up to a judge to decide what is or isn't fair use. Okay. So you're saying it's justified to have struck Troll Detective on the feeling that you do not feel it is fair use? Yes, that's okay. what that's the answer to my question. Do. Yep. Okay. So if Chantel feels what I'm 
doing is not fair use, then she will be justified in striking as with anybody else. If you feel that whatever somebody else is using of your content doesn't fall within the boundaries of fair use, then you do have that right. That's what it's there for. So you're saying Nader striking all of those channels because he felt it was unfair use was okay. That is what the system is there for. So if he feels it is not within the confines of fair use, then he has the right to strike you. Did you feel what that he same have, way? What Did he should have that? done is actually go ahead and with these filings, but he didn't. Did you that feel that same where... way before the troll detective video? I've never brought complaints about the striking. I just said I was struck and then I put it in for a counter. I never once went on and complained or put it in my community tab because at the end of the day, that's just YouTube. Okay. Well, I think I've probably heard enough for today. So I'm going to check out now, guys. Bye. Why? Interrupt. Quickly, just for a second, because I have to go somewhere. I have to be somewhere. I'm taking time away from my friends and family for this. Okay, I want to know why the description of the Buddha situation and why the Tiny Dancer situation sounds so similar in storylines from Monty. They're both crazy, mentally damaged women who were problematic, but he was trying to be romantically involved with both of them. I want that situation explained. Who said they were crazy? You did. I never used that word. Yeah, you did when in your video you said tiny and you mentioned that tiny dancer was unbalanced she had mental health problems she was problematic she, you described her as an unbalanced person and you did the same thing with buddha because we know she's got mental health issues with her bipolar and you played that okay. off intention well, no right. let me finish let me finish this is not your panel let me finish you intentionally into put that into your videos and your conversation to make them seem less credible and you more credible and i think that is very very unfair and i think veronica you need to take control back of this panel because he's pontificating and he's trying to take over and i'm leaving now please explain all right let me yeah. let me ask you a question does does tiny dancer have mental health issues yes or no if it's a yes then when I say that she does have mental health issues, it's the truth. Does Buddha bitch have mental health issues? If it's a yes, then what was I lying about? 